Right, all right, we are back, back once again. Hey guys, welcome to the Vape Cave. I've got a, another review for you today. We're going to be looking at an atomizer. Now, this atomizer is uh, quite special, guys. This one here is made by Infinite. This is the CLT. Yes, this is my Infinite. Now, these guys, when they first hit the market, they originally started as just a clone manufacturer. I mean, that's what they're known for. It's their high, high quality clones. Like, <clears throat> every video that I've seen that has to deal with, you know, Infinite is just nothing but good things. Uh, they just top-notch, blow every other clone-making company out of the water. Well, what they decided to do now that they've made a name for themselves and uh, you know being a clone ma uh, manufacturer they decided that they were going to go through and make their own device which is pretty awesome and what they did is uh, they took three different atomizers and combined them all into one and the three atomizers that they chose are three of my favorite atomizers that ever came out. And we're going to take a look at that here in just a moment. So uh, let's take a toot. And, uh the performance is just stellar on this thing. This thing is nice. And yeah, there's not really much else to say you know because it's it's infinite so let's just let's go down to the table and let's take a look at it you guys all right hey guys we are here at the table here looking at the CLT by infinite uh, this is the box that it came in and it's a very nice box here and uh, let's go ahead and open it up. It's got really nice, uh, really nice felt on the inside of the packaging. Real nice job, guys. Infinite. You guys did a good job of this packaging here. So it comes with a uh, nice little bunch of O-rings and a couple of little pre-made coils. And uh, it's pretty nice. You know, it's the usual thing there. We have this nice little keychain. Uh, three-piece screwdriver set, little flathead, uh, Phillips head. Uh, somebody has got this little Allen key inside of the top piece there. So there's that. And then here's how, uh, here's how the atomizer fits in here. Uh, it's really nice. goes all the way down to the bottom. There's nothing in here, nothing underneath. So that's it for the packaging nothing else came inside of it guys Ooh, dropping stuff yeah. let's, uh, let's take a look at the goods here so this device here was designed after three different atomizers uh, this one here it's, it's got the uh, same outer top cap here portion as the uh, TOBH with these little heat sink uh, little cuts into the top cap. Uh, it's got a nice cable, nice little matching drip tip. It's got the, the same little uh, little heat sink type thing cut out into there. Uh, so that's part of uh, one of the atomizers that they used. Second was they went with the Stellaire with their uh, airflow control with the sock Cyclops uh, style control here. One thing I really like about this here is that at the top of this uh, little heat seat type thing, it's got this knurling around this top ring here, and it makes it for very easy to grip and then to do your airflow control. And I found that to be really nice. <clears throat> and so now take a look at the inside of the top cap here we have the uh, comes part two pieces you have your outer sleeve uh, your barrel sleeve it has the the infinite logo the CLT 
we have the inside of the top cap is a uh, it's a domed off uh, recessing of the chamber so it gives off uh, that great flavor it's the same as the TOBH in that uh, aspect there we also on the inside of the deck here is the same as the TOBH Addy to where it's got that nice juice well and your negative posts are like one with the deck itself it's like it's all one piece the way it was cut it's really nice and then for the third atomizer that they took was the Helios and with the uh, split off teed uh, positive post it, where it has two separate setups for your uh, for your positive post so it makes it quite easy for any of the builds you're doing whether you want to do a, a dual coil a quad coil a, you can go up to eight coil setup with something like this and do it very very easily versus your traditional three post you know one hole inside of each post here to work with and you're trying to stuff a bunch of uh, leads into so that I that's very nice there and this thing works very well here so I've got I currently have four coils built into this here uh, I didn't want to take the build apart because I really like it so I'm just gonna re-wick it for you guys and we're gonna take it back up here in just a moment so let's go ahead and uh, wick this bad boy yeah. alright guys so I got this thing uh, re-wicked here for you to show you guys what I did uh, this is the para dual ohms coil that uh, when you look at it it looks like the ohms coil with the way that it's set up here and if you want a tutorial on how to do that you go and check out Raylo Vapes and he does a lot of build tutorials so go check it out from him and let's take a look at uh, the reading here so I've got a a point as it say, 0.20 build there on uh, this quad coil setup, and so let's take it off of here. And oops. Oh, before I put it on in my mod, I forgot to show you guys. Originally, we had the bottom of this thing here is really nice too. It's uh, like laser engraved here you have infinite CLT and you have the serial number mine here is number 1593 and it has a copper positive contact that uh, that is adjustable guys so that's very nice for all your devices that may where the 510 connection may sit just a hair lower you could adjust it to be able to fit any uh, device you're wanting to use it on so that's very nice and let's put some juice on it so for this here I have my uh, holy grail berry confused and let's give my cotton here a nice little saturation top cap on here let's make sure it works very nice very nice alright let's take it up top and uh, talk about it and vape on it and give you my final thoughts alright alright we are back from looking down at the table at the CLT atomizer by infinite 
Now, I picked this up at a website at VaporDNA.com. Same website that I picked up my Flawless Tugboat Clear Top Cap. And I gotta say, absolutely enjoy it. I got it for $34.99. We got a uh, $3.50 uh, 10% off discount. And then... Four ninety nine shipping and handling came out to thirty six forty eight total. Now, considering that most of your authentic top cat or your authentic atomizers lately are hundred, hundred and ten, hundred fifteen, hundred twenty dollars, like thirty six bucks out the door. You cannot beat that. And with the fact that they combined three atomizers that are were all top quality you know, of their time right now so that in itself is pretty awesome you know they they took designs from you know really really good atomizers and combined them together all into one and 36 bucks 36.50 for an authentic atomizer made by a company who's known for top quality that is just awesome. I absolutely love it. And let me grab on here. Performs just at the same rate as all the other top quality devices. Absolutely love it. If you guys want, go on to VaporDNA.com. Pick yourself up a CLT atomizer. I guarantee you, you will not regret it at all it is just it is an amazing device I've loved every vape that I've taken off of it since I got it I placed my order on the 6th of July and I got it on the 9th of July so three days like and I placed my order at the, at like midnight almost of the 6th so Sorry about that, guys. My nose is a little stuffy. So, three days to wait for... Or not even three days. Two days to wait for a well-made, well-machined, well-performing device is well worth it. So, if you guys really like, you know, you like devices that are made well, you like ones that perform really well... I advise that you go on to Vapor DNA and go pick yourself up one of these bad boys and I promise you, I promise you guys, you will not regret it. And I'm going to take one for the road and I'm going to be out guys.